Hi guys, and welcome to your Friendswood ISD Transition Center YouTube channel. It's Miss Renee here, and I'm here to go over with you ways on how to keep the conversation going. I know that's been a very long time since we've been able to gather in the classroom and practice our conversation skills. So I'm hoping that this is a really good review for you. So number one, how to keep the conversation going. Small talk. Small talk is a great way to open up a conversation or to keep it going. Small talk includes the weather, talking about the sports teams, talking about current events in your community or in the world. Um, it's a good icebreaker. Number two, give a compliment. Um, hey, I like your new haircut. Where did you get it done at? Or something similar to that. Number one, it gives a compliment, which makes the person feel really good, so that's a plus. And number two, it opens up the conversation to where the person will talk about themselves and their experiences. And that's always a good way to keep conversation going. Number three, know your audience. Um, talk about things that the person is interested in. Hey, have you seen that new Star Wars movie? Um, that's a good way to open up a conversation or keep it going, especially if the person loves Star Wars and they're going to want to talk about the movie and they're going to really gush over it and you can ask questions and the conversation will keep going. If you don't know that much about the person you're talking to, um, ask them what their hobbies are or what their interests are and that's always a really good way to get the person talking and then the conversation will just take off. Um, Number four, ask questions that don't require a yes or no answer. Um, you can say, hey, can you tell me about that book? I'm interested in reading it. Instead of, did you like that book? Uh, if you ask for more details, the person will talk longer and it'll give you more opportunity to ask questions and to also share with you thoughts and feelings about the topic you're discussing. And number five, listen and make eye contact. Um, that's really key. Listening is very important in a conversation. Uh, that way it enables you to ask follow-up questions and gives you an opening to join in the conversation and share things about yourself as well. And eye contact is extremely important. When you're talking to somebody, if you're looking at them, they feel like you're listening. And when a person feels like they're being heard, they are more apt to talk. If, if you don't look at a person when they're talking, they get the feeling that you're not listening and then they might not want to talk as much. So listening and eye contact are extremely important in a conversation. Well, I hope that you guys um, have found it instructional and a good review, and um, I just want to say I miss you guys, and um, hope to see you soon. Until next time.